How's it going guys? Eric with THC Concepts here doing a quick video on the proper installation of the new Morimoto two-stroke drop-in LED bulbs. Uh, the housing we're using today is uh, housing we had laying around out of a Jeep. It's got an H13 bulb in it, so we're going to be using the dual filament H13 two-strokes today. Uh, installation is really simple. You uh, have the replacement bulb. It's just like the, the OEM bulb. You twist it counterclockwise, you pull it out. Take the new bulb, slide it in till it lays flush. You lock it in tight. Now, simple enough installation. However, there's something you need to pay attention to, and a lot of people do not pay attention to this. And when they install them in their vehicle, they don't get proper light output because they don't the they've put them in, but they haven't completely installed them yet. If you notice, if you look here in at the top. You can see the LED is not parallel with the facets inside the headlight. It's actually out of rotation by, you know, I don't know, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, something like that. Um, the easiest way to fix it is to push in the bulb. It releases it, and you can spin it into place. Now, I slightly over-rotated it, so I move it back one notch. And when you're done, you pull it back into place and make sure it's locked in. And you can see that the LED is completely vertical inside the housing. That's all you got to do. So, see it in person. Inside the, the bulb, there is a couple of notches in there. You just push in. And you can rotate it left and right, and then lock it back into place. Once you've got it set, your light distribution will be as it should. If you have already purchased a set of these bulbs and installed them, and they don't look right, chances are the bulb isn't properly seated inside the housing. So you may want to pull them out, look inside the headlight, make sure rotation is proper and correct, and go from there. Uh, chances are if, if you've installed them and they don't look right, that's more than likely the problem because these are in, in the running for some of the best drop-in LED bulbs that you can buy on the market currently. I've used several. Uh, there are a few others out there that are just a tick brighter, uh, but these right here are affordable. They're, uh, they're available in any size for your car. And they're pretty much readily available anytime you want them. So give us a shout at thcconcepts at gmail.com if you have any questions, uh, comments, or you'd like to place an order. And we'll go from there. Thank you very much. Have a great day.